Right now we're at the Greenfield Farmers Market. They're another small local farmers market located in Fairfield, Connecticut. They're at 1950 Bronson Road and they run June through October, 12.30 to 4. Let's go see what they have. I'm here with Elizabeth from Fairfield Bread Company and we just tasted the delicious bread she's offering here today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, this is Fairfield Bread Company's flax set. It's a demi baguette made with ground organic flax. This is half of a demi baguette. <laughs> And today we're offering tastes of this wonderful bread. It's made with ground organic flax and wheat flours, unbromated, unbleached. And um, what else do I want to tell you about it? <laughs> uh, the baker uses a three-day process that really develops a lot of wonderful, wonderful flavor. I think you probably noticed the balance of a little bit of a tang mm -hmm. because he uses minimal yeast. He uses some of the dough from the day before. So it's just very well balanced in terms of flavor of the natural sweetness and the little bit of a tang. It is. It's delicious. Now, what are the benefits to this bread versus a, a white or a wheat bread? Okay, well, this bread has ground organic flax. And as we know, flax is very healthy for you. It's got, it's full of omega-3s and then it's got the unbleached, unbromated wheat flour. So, um, you know, it tastes really good. It's delicious and nutritious. That's what we like to say It about is it. very good. And now you just sell at local farmer's markets? Well, um, my husband bakes his bread. His name is Michael Mordecai. He started Fairfield Bread Company about six months ago. He bakes out of Adam's Bakery in Tunks' Hill. He rents space from him. And then it's sold at Whole Foods, in Darien and Westport, the Pantry in downtown Fairfield, Spick and Span in Southport, Garlic and Herb in Westport. We do this farmer's market. It's also sold at Patty Pops Sport Hill Farm in Easton, which is a wonderful farm stand. And also through um, C, I think I've got it down here, CTFF. It's online, Connecticut Farm Fresh Express, CTFFE.com. Well, that's great. Now, if you shop at any of those places or if you're familiar with any of those areas in those places, I would highly recommend you going and trying this bread. It is delicious. I'm going to pick up a bag today. Um, now, do you have a website or anything where someone can find well, you? Well, we, we're on Facebook. Okay. So if you go to Fairfield Bread Company on Facebook, and, um, and then we always have information about what we're doing. And there's a blog, and we put recipes up there. So... Yeah. Okay, great. Well, definitely check them out. Fairfield Bread Company. And I'm going to Facebook them, so you better Facebook them, too. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Julia. Now, she has a product line called Time Pirates. Can you tell us a little, about, a little bit about this product line? Well, it's all made out of natural herbs and plants that I picked either in the wild or in my garden. And it's just chemical-free stuff such as bug spray, um, poison ivy before and after treatment, um, massage oils, um, itch, anti-itch spray, um, cleaning spray, things like that. That's great, because that's like a really big seller right now. People are looking for chemical, well, not non-chemical products to use in their home. And exactly. so that's, and you were saying that, um, what is it, mugwort or something in there that it's like a, a, um, a weed that people have in their yard. Right, right, and it just grows everywhere, and people, and you wouldn't even give it a second glance probably if you saw it. But and it's very useful. Exactly. So that's great. Now, you also make this jewelry over here. These are clamshells. Mm -hmm. And they turn into like beautiful necklaces and earrings that you make? Yeah, you just polish them in a tumbler. <laughs> That's wonderful. Now, how did you come about this product line? Like, what made you want to start making this? Well, I started develop, uh, researching herbalism and, um, you know, developing a lot of products for myself. Because, I, again, I don't like to take a lot of chemicals and artificially produce things. And then I decided one day, like, why don't I try to make money at it? So, so you started making stuff for yourself and a hobby turned into this great product line you have exactly. now. Exactly. And you go around to different flea markets and farmers markets and sell it. Right. That's great and that's how you can find it. If you're in the Fairfield area or if you go to other local places, look for Time Pirate. It's a really great line.
Okay, I'm here with Kathy. Now she is the creator of the Candle Wick Care Candle Company. Now that's quite the tongue twister, <laughs> and I didn't know if I'd be able to get it out on camera, but I did it on the first try, so I think we should just take note of that, okay? Oh, sure. Especially my cameraman, Shane, <laughs> didn't think I'd be able to do it. Okay. So now, Kathy, tell us about this line. Uh, well, I have uh, candles that are made with essential oils. Um, some of them are imported from France, my French vanilla. Um, also lavender. I have quite a variety, uh, about 61 cents altogether. Here at the market they are made with beeswax, soy wax, uh, again the essential oils. There are There is some paraffin wax, which a lot of people think is harmful, it's really not. It's, um, you know, it depends on how you burn them. Candles are candles. And I do have a line of soap products as well. Mm -hmm. uh, these are made by a niece of mine out in California. I sell them for her. Oh, these are beautiful. Um, some of them are just um, very mild scented, and I have probably about 20 different scents in the soaps. I also make jewelry for children and adults, and uh, I'm a creative seamstress, so in addition to the candle products and the recipe book here, it was put together by all the market vendors. I just assembled it, typed it, and put it together for them. I have uh, some upholstery things I do. I do some sewing. Sometimes I'll have a piece of furniture up that I've uh, redone. Today I have uh, two dresses and a skirt. And well, there's clothes. a there's like a, a variety of stuff here, and you do have there really is you have a variety of stuff, but then you have a variety of candles and a variety of soaps. I mean, I'm surprised at how many different soaps you have here. I really do, and they also, they look great. I also have organic potpourri and gingerbread, uh, mandarin orange, and lavender this year. And I have what that what I call magic salts that I make. Uh, they're very good for if you have a, a, a like a muscle that needs to be toned down. I kind of lost feeling in this arm several years ago. And before I went to a doctor, I decided to try my own salts. So I basically put my hand in a pan for about an hour with my salts, and the next day my arm was fine. So that's why I call them magic salts. That's a true story, by the way. Wow. So now how did you get into this? How did you get into uh, making these uh, candles and salts? Well, I used to live in Vermont, and they're very big in Vermont on farmer's markets. And I would be in front of a Kmart in Rutland, Vermont, for um, quite a few years I did that. And I sold similar products along with handmade dolls. And how can people find you? Uh, well, I do have a website. It's candlesgaloreandmore.blogspot.com. You they like all these tongue twisters. <laughs> <laughs> or they can just send me an email at youlightupmylife at yahoo.com. Well, no, that one's easy. I can remember that one. <laughs> and the one. light has just a T, L-I-T-E. <laughs> okay, now that's Kathy at... Oh, I almost. The Candle Wick Care Candle Company. Candle Wick Care Candle Company. Now, see, I was thinking about it the whole time in my head that I had to get it right the second time. I give the credit for that name to my brother in Wyoming. Uh, he just recently got married. He's an engineer with the Burlington North Santa Fe Railroad, and he came up with that catchy name. So, Bobby, wherever you are, if you're watching this blog, thank you for that name. <laughs> yes, thank you. It made me mess up my uh, my interview here, Bobby. <laughs> um, no, thank you. This is a wonderful line. It's great stuff. Now, you can yeah. find her at these local farmer's markets and then also check out her website. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, I'm walking out today with some bread from the Fairfield Bread Company. I've got soaps and I've got candles. Another great find. Check out the Greenfield Farmer's Market in Fairfield, Connecticut. And thanks for joining us today on Hungry for Living. I'm Michelle Ann Satilli.